Okay, so it's about 6 o'clock. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, and there's literally three to four feet of water okay. in a lot of places. I'm on Airport Road in South Everett coming up on Evergreen Way, or correction, Casino Road, and you can see in the right-hand side of the screen all of the water that's being uh, built up along the curb line. In some places, the water is actually coming up over the curb, and as you can see uh, in a couple of places here, the water's coming up out of the uh, drains. The drainage is uh, being overwhelmed by this system. Uh, I'm getting further and further away for the next few blocks here from the, the primary storm cell, which is to the east of me, centered around South Everett, uh, but over around Evergreen Way uh, in the Everett Mall area. But so you can see it bubbling up there, coming out of the drain system as we approach uh, West Casino Road. Several inches of water, again, almost up to the curb line there on the right-hand side of the screen. This is the intersection of West Casino Road and Airport Road, and as you can see from this car on the right-hand side, the white car in that red car there making that illegal U-turn. The, uh, the water in this intersection is at least 8 to 10 inches deep uh, in the center of the intersection there. Uh, it's up over the curb line onto the uh, sidewalk. <laughs> We've got a, a vehicle up in front of me here trying to get on State Route 526 uh, from Casino Road that appears to be stuck in the water got a couple of them here now. I'm going to get around this guy up into the uh, the curb here and see if I can help them out. Uh, actually, it looks like an accident here at this intersection uh, in this water. I'm going to turn the camera to the right. Maybe these guys will move so we can see it. I'm going to step out of the vehicle as well and see if everybody's okay. They hit each other? Yeah, you probably, there's no ditch there uh, until you get to the right of the, uh, the 25 mile an hour sign. That's where the ditch starts.
Okay, well, as you can see, we got that one car out of the way. And these people are trying to get through the other ones here. I got Everett PD now here, so I'm going to step out and uh, step out and talk to the PD real quick. Are you push this gate out of the way? Yeah, probably. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to go way around to do this, so I'm going to check traffic here and uh, make that U-turn right now because I got the light. Unfortunately, this means that I'm heading towards the uh, storm cell because the storm cell is moving off to the east. That intersection cleared out of water real quick, but unfortunately, the uh, water's moving its way through the drainage system to the south and to the north, depending upon what, uh, excuse me, what elevation everything's at. So, because I'm coming uphill here, moving towards uh, you know, the 282900 block of West Casino Road, the water's coming downhill, and unfortunately, it's going right there into that intersection and causing that freeway on-ramp to uh, State Route 526 to be unavailable and inaccessible. So I'm going to try West Casino Road, uh, heading out to 526, see if that'll work. Uh, West Casino has two spots where there's uh, small creeks that run underneath of it, and uh, we're currently under a small stream and urban flooding advisory, which is, uh, you know, uh, obvious. <laughs> That's exactly what we're experiencing here. So we'll uh, see what happens in another 10 or 15 blocks here when I get up to those flat spots and uh, see how much water we're dealing with over the roadway. First one's coming up here in a couple seconds. See the bus is slowing down for it. Oh yeah, yeah. This is 18th Avenue West at uh, West Casino Road. Look off to the right hand side of your screen. And also to the left as the uh, oncoming traffic going westbound is driving through that standing water. So, again, 1800 block of West Casino Road. Got a lot of water here because uh, this is where the golf course is located. And uh, there's also small streams that run just behind the uh, golf course to the west of the golf course all the way south down to 100 Street Southwest. Uh, which I wish I would have had the camera on when I was on 100th because that water was two or three feet deep and uh, flowing very rapidly. But the, the cell was also really strong and dumping a lot of water at that point. And it's obviously tapered off now quite a bit. I had my wipers on full blast at the uh, start of all of this about uh, 12 or 13 minutes ago when I left the house. And uh, I couldn't keep the water off the uh, window especially when these guys were driving by in their trucks at you know, 25, 30 miles an hour. So, my feet are soaked, <laughs> but uh, fortunately I'm going somewhere where I can take the shoes off and uh, still get, <laughs> get done what I need to get done. So, I'm going to leave the camera running for a little bit here. Looks like another huge patch of standing water here. This was the second spot that I was worried about. This is uh, Fifth Avenue West, otherwise known as Hardison Road on uh, Casino Road. And uh, there's another spot here right behind the elementary school 
where there's another uh, kind of creaky, you know, standing watery uh, wetland type of area. So obviously this is another spot where the uh, water's collecting up. We'll be driving through it here in a minute as soon as the light changes. Yeah, that water was warm, and uh, I mean, it literally went up over my my socks, about three or four inches over my socks when I was uh, going through that stuff. And I'm uh, I'm not a not a small guy. I'm six foot two, so got uh, probably six or seven inches of standing water back there at that intersection. And as you can see from the uh, rooster tails coming off these cars, especially to the right. It's up and over the curb, uh, heading off into the apartment complex in the wetland area to the south there. So again, I'll leave the camera running because uh, I'm heading directly into a very dark area, as you can see up on the left and uh, top, top left-hand side of the screen. That's where the storm cell is heading out to towards the Cascades. So I'll keep it running because I'll probably be driving right into it got another big batch of standing water here as we have another dip in the roadway. This is West Casino Road, about the 200 block, or 100 block rather. <clears throat> I think I might just avoid the freeway. I'm not sure what that's going to look like at this time of day. So I'll probably uh, whoops, head down to uh, head down Evergreen here, or maybe catch over to Broadway to 75th Street. The interesting thing about those warnings about not driving through standing water, sometimes you just can't see it <laughs> simply because of the amount of water you have hitting your windshield. You know, I, I live and breathe by those uh, you know, things that uh, emergency managers put out about driving through standing water, you know, about turning back and what have you. But I tell you, when you're in a situation when the the water's hitting the windshield at a rate that's preventing you from really seeing what's going on in front of you. You don't know if you're coming up on a big patch of standing water because uh, the rain's obscuring it, and that's exactly what happened to me a couple of times. I'm, I'm actually impressed that this uh, little Subaru did not get swallowed up by one of the patches of water that I drove through because I mean, it looked like it was most of the way up my bumper, but uh, good little Subaru didn't stall out. so. I'm going to pause this.